Hey, what's up? It's Nathan here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to give your Umbral node an alias as well as a color. So that way, if somebody came to 1ML, they could find your node by that alias as opposed to a string of characters. So, you know, just something cool to do, I guess. I'll be following this tutorial right here. So link in the description down below. So Diki here is the one that gets the credit for teaching me how to do this. So definitely go ahead and reference this as well as this video here. But we're just going to follow the steps. So we're we're going to log in to our node using SSH and so we just type in this command right here. So to get to the command line we'll come down to search and I'm just going to type CMD and it brings up command prompt. I think on a Mac it's called terminal. Hopefully you know how to get to it but once you do you're in something that looks like this and I went ahead and moved my windows around so that way we can hopefully see everything. So anyway we're going to do SSH dash T or I think it's called flag T. Umbrel at umbrel.local and then asks us for our password. So go ahead and plug in your umbrel password. And then we should connect to our umbrel here. So then the next thing we want to do, I'm going to skip over to this optional where we change our default password because I've already done that. Uh, but if you haven't done that, you can go ahead and change your umbrel password as well. But I want to go to sudo nano umbrel blah blah blah. So I'm just going to copy this line of command and come over here and paste it in. And I'm going to go ahead and run that and ask for the Umbrel password yet again. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my password. And that opens up this file right here. So this is where we go ahead and add in our alias as well as our color. So you're now in the editor add alias equals some name. And this must be added in the first paragraph somewhere below the application options block. So application options right here is what that's referencing. And then I use the arrow keys to move down here. And we can see that I have an alias already. So I've already done this stuff, so I can vouch that it works. So uh, alias equals Nathan Williams. And then color equals FF3C00, the best color in the whole wide world. And so that's what these steps four and five are. So alias and color. Okay, cool. And to get it in there, you just, you know, you move your cursor and then you can go ahead and just type type whatever you want. So it's, it's pretty self-explanatory once you actually get to the right area. And then we can leave it space as such. And then it says we can go ahead and press the caret, which means control. So control X is exit. So I'm going to press control X. And then it asks me if I want to save the modified buffer. I'm just going to press Y. And then I'm going to save it in... This, this file name right here, and that's outlining these steps right here. So I'll go ahead and press enter right there, and boom, just like that, my file has been updated. Now, it does say that we need to restart our node, so I'll show you that in one second. But if you have channels, it will take two days max for your node name to become uh, visible. So 1ML won't update for, it only took a few hours, I believe. Uh, when I change my name, so it might take only a couple hours, but it says two days max, so maybe, you know, sometimes things uh, take a little longer to, to happen. But anyway, I wanted to point out that you might have a little bit of a waiting period for 1ML to update. Uh, we can also go ahead and check our file real quick, so we can run this command as well. If I scroll up, we can see that the alias is there and the color is there as well. So that all looks good. And of course, the next step would be to restart the node. So to do that, I'm going to go into my node. And we're going to go to settings in the bottom left hand corner here. And you'll see the option to restart your umbrella. So go ahead and restart your umbrella. And that'll save your settings and give your node that alias and that color. And then within the next two days, 1ML should start showing uh, your node with its alias and also your color. So that's how you do it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Again, link in the description below to this, this post here because this is how I did it. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.